and we're back once again. Seeing as we spent the entire last week with Vela here, I think it's only fair we go and see how Shay's doing. I even left him on a beach. He's probably soaking wet and catching his death cold by now. Son? Son, are you okay? There's been some sort of a accident. Are you hurt? Where's your mother? Shay! You must still be in shock. Uh... Shay, you need to snap out of it. Oh, his dad is still a ball? I'm kinda confused about that, given what I know about his mom. What? Our ship has crashed. Your mother's still inside. We need to get her out. Gary! Just help me out of this sand, will you? That girl. Who are you talking about? Never mind. I'll get myself out. Oh. Of course. Where did you get that body? You need to calm down, son. There's been an accident, and your mother is still trapped. My mother? But you're... You're not... She's really... Yes, she's really in there. And no, I'm not going to leave her behind. We're going to get your mom out of there. My... Mom? I know we haven't seen you much in person lately. It's just that I've been busy outside the ship, or... Well, what I thought was a ship, in what I thought was space. We weren't actually in space? The point is, your mom is still inside the thing, and she's not responding to my calls. Help me find a way to get back on board, will you? Sure. Dad? Well, Jay is in a bit of shock. Do you still have any of his items? Was this again? Of all the things I could have taken from our ship, I end up with my useless baby radiation suit. It's the crochet hook I used to hack my ship. Stay on alert. I think there might be food around. Always, sir. Gary's not responding. Either the ship is dead, or he is. Is that really our ship? Why does it look like a... A monster? I, I don't know. I'll figure it out after we get your mother. I wonder how my mom's doing in there. I mean, I guess I always knew my parents were people. It's just been a while since I thought of them that way. So, if we weren't actually in space, where were we? Are they tossing holy gr hand grenades down the steps? Looks like he needs a slap on the back. Greetings! I am Shay of Laruna. Oh, he <laughs> curious. If I wasn't traveling through space, then why are you speaking in an alien tongue? <laughs> he swallowed his whistle. Judging I remember by your that. outfit, I assume you're the leader of this place. I'd love to talk more, but I need to go help my parents right now. <laughs> nice schematic. What if that whistling sound is actually something caught in his throat? Maybe I could fish it out with this. Sir, you are more likely to force the object further down his throat if you attempt that. I recommend a sudden constricting pressure to the abdomen instead. Trust me, choking prevention is my business. I have a bizarre thought as to what the solution to this puzzle might be. We are going to go see how Shay reacts to that snake. I discovered, seeing as it looks just like his childhood pet. Filthy, lousy, sadistic... <laughs> Oops. I've detected an unusual rock formation on the surface. That's not rock. It's the hardened shell of my sick, summoned from my gut by a banshee in a shredded gown. You don't say... 
Never seen one of those before. Did you have? He punched you in the face. Any talking trees we'll over try here? Try to anyway. No. Good. I can hear you. That's an interesting smell. So unfamiliar. What the? Oh wow! This is incredible. A real giant constrictor. My mother never would have allowed this. <laughs> what the? <laughs> that must have been danger. I was so. <laughs> Do you like letting go of me, Mr. Huggy? <laughs> Well, I suppose that would have been how we'd learn the name, me, wouldn't you? we? You're actually trying to squeeze the life out of me, aren't you? I love it! <laughs> so, is your plan to kill me, then eat me? <laughs> Amazing! I just kind of want to watch this oh, until he finishes things he can say. Well, this has been fun, but... I, I had better be going soon. Okay, fun time's over, my scaly friend. I, oh, I hope you're not bending my friend's spoon. Mm, I remember reading on the ship's Cosmomnipedia that snakes hate loud noises. I don't want to have to resort to sonic violence, Mr. Huggy, but it's time to let go now. Uh, seriously, the snake board. better let go. Not kidding around, Mr. Huggy, I think it won't be much longer now. <sighs> uh. I guess that poor snake didn't realize how many hug attacks I've been through. <laughs> Mr. Huggy's all tuckered out. Don't want to leave him here where someone might step on him. <laughs> I was actually, I was kind of sort of expecting that, really. Especially when the snake started to get tired. I've detected an unusual oh, rock formation again. on this. I don't think that would get me anything. Don't see anything there I want to eat. Now let's go see if we can apply some serious crushing pressure on the abdomen of the mayor. And perhaps rescue him. something caught in your throat. Oh. Hey, knock that off, Mr. Huggy. Back to your tree. Mog... Mog Chatra... struck down by the dead eye guard. Only to rise again. This maiden's feast was a disaster. I'm never gonna be mayor now. Excuse me? Huh? <laughs> Feeling better? A little, but I won't know for sure until the polls come in tomorrow. Can you tell me where we are? Why, the village of Shell Mound, of course. The eighth largest incorporated seaside territory on the whole East Coast. Who are you? Marshal Du. Who are you? I'm Shay, from Laruna. Laruna? You're from the ancient lost city far beyond the Plague Dam? Huh. Well, that's not exactly how it was described to me. I'll let you get some rest. Ah. We get a shell whistle? Yes. It was Hexapals. Hey, it's one of my Hexapal buddies. Doesn't look like he survived getting thrown off the ship. Poor guy. You went right through that. No, you didn't pick him up. You didn't pick him up.
Wow. Looks like something really hot happened here. Did it overheat? Dandelion. Are you... Are you... Me? From the future? Are you me from the past? What? I can't believe what I'm seeing. This is amazing. I'm not sure the world is ready for two of us. Yeah. Our parents would probably agree. One Shay is enough. Yeah. Wait, who's Shay? We're Shay. My name is Alex. I don't remember ever being called Shay. You didn't grow up on the Bassanostra? No, I grew up on the Malaruna. Oh, then we're not... Yeah, I guess not. That's a relief. <laughs> yeah. Wait, why is that a relief? Nothing. I, I just mean the... Nothing. Complete lack of time travel. So, why are you dressed like me? Were you also in Operation Dandelion? Yeah, in what I thought was a spaceship. But then, it crashed, and it wasn't in space. And there was this angry girl there, and my ship looked like a monster on the outside. You know, I remember the Malaruna looked a little funny after the crash, but I just thought it was deflated airbags and fire damage. Well, if I wasn't actually from space, that will make my trip back to Laruna a lot easier. If I can get this ship fixed. You're going back to Laruna? That's where I'm from. But they said it was dying. Yeah, well, if they lied to us about the space thing, who knows what else they're lying about. My ship crashed down on the beach. Didn't you see it? Oh, that was your ship. Um... Yeah, why? Well, I might have actually shot it down. What? Why? Well, this girl, Vela, wanted to kill the monster, Mog Chothra. And I kind of owed her one. Mog Chothra. How are you going to get this ship back to Laruna? Well, if I can get my space conductor up and working again, he'll take me back to a previous destination. As long as I compose the right tune into his nav song. Nav song? You mean your nav scarf? <laughs> nav scarf? Was your mom really into knitting or something? Mine yes. is all about music. Everything we did on my ship was about music. Just between you and me, I'm a little sick of the music thing. <laughs> Have you seen Laruna? What's it like? No idea. I was born on this ship and my parents never showed me any pictures. But supposedly, it's dying. So, why do you want to get back there? Dying or not, home sounds pretty good after 300 years stuck on a sandcastle. Where are your parents? They lived for about 20 years after the crash, and then passed away three months apart from each other. That's one of the reasons I went into Chrysolation. But hey, maybe if I get back to Laruna, who knows? I might have some other family there. These two are gonna have a lot to talk about, I imagine. Why did they put us on spaceships that weren't spaceships? Well, we were supposed to be looking for a new place to live. But maybe we were actually looking for something else, and we just didn't know it. Did you have a strange wolf on your ship who told you to hack the controls? Weird. I did get hacking ideas like that, but I'm too embarrassed to say where they came from. <laughs> oh, come on. Tell me where you got the idea to hack the ship. I... I started hallucinating that my cello was talking to me. It would walk around, and talk, and tell me to keep secrets from my mom. Did your cello have a name? Well, he called himself Merrick. Huh? <gasps> but you know I just made that up. No, no, no! I, I had a Merrick, too! He wanted us to rescue... ...or... ...capture... ...girls. Those helpless creatures were... Oh, man. I'm kind of glad I never managed to rescue any now. Yeah, 
Cello would fit Merrick's head just fine, or Merrickai, or whatever his name is, his head just fine, wouldn't it? You need any help getting your ship running? Do I ever? Looters have taken some critical parts. Well, maybe we have some extra parts on my ship. It's just downstairs on the beach. Shay, our ship, it uh, c came to life and flew away, probably to Laruna on autopilot. Oh no, is that? We're not doing this again, are we? Is that <laughs> the past? No, Dad. This is Alex. He was in Operation Dandelion years ago. Uh, Ray Volta. Pleasure to meet you. His ship crashed here too, and now he wants to go back to Laruna. Well, I'll be. We're inside a Diamond Age Dandelion cruiser. Never seen one in person before. If we can get my ship running, you're welcome to come back with me and look for your ship in Laruna. Son? I think you've just found a way to catch up to your mother. I can whip up a batch of my special hull patching compound. Would that help? Sure would. I'll bet the undercarriage on this baby is shot. Leave it to me. I saw a tub with some good starter enzymes down on the beach. Yeah, so that's my dad. Cool. By uh, starter enzymes, I can only assume he means that thing full of chum. So what else does your ship need to fly? Hmm, let me see here. Still need an electronics genius, and, uh, still need your dad to patch the holes in the hull. What else? I still need a radiation suit. Hmm. Haven't found a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam yet. And... Gotta replace my heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit. Once we take care of that, we'll be ready to fly. On it. That's a pretty long laundry list. Who do you think has been looting your ship? Actually, I suspect the guards outside. Something about their outfits. There aren't any guards out there. Walked off the job, eh? Man, 300 years ago, people were a lot more professional, I'll tell you what. What was it about your guards' outfits that made you suspicious? Did they look like they were hiding loot underneath? No, it was the way they were made from the same material as my radiation shielding blast curtains. <laughs> oh. What's a superconductive gyro what's it cam? A superconductive gyroscopic hypercam. A small but critical part of the ship's controls. Here, I'll, I'll draw you a detailed schematic. Okay, I'll see if I can find one lying around. So, what kind of help do you need with the wiring? I need an electrical genius who can get into small spaces, knows how to solder, and who can memorize circuit boards at a glance. Okay, yeah, that's not me. I'll find somebody. Okay, see you later. Okay. Well, we've got all kinds of items to search for now, so... Alex drew this schematic for a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam. Now, if these little guys were so smart, I bet they could figure out how to make one of these for me. This button only works on grabbing Gary. I wonder where he is now, and what he's grabbing. Can you fix him, Spoon? I think he needs a recharging, sir. Do we have anything chargey in here? Hey, you got this old tiny laser coil and amplifying quartz all hooked up wrong. No, no, Want me to... don't touch them. They've come close to overheating several times, and they're extremely unstable. I'll, I'll get around to fixing that soon. Just leave it to me. <laughs> all right, all right. Not sure what this strange diamond-shaped socket is for. Anything else of interest in here before we wander off? I mean, we don't have anything diamond-shaped. It's all hexagon-based. So strange. But I feel like I've seen this pyramid before. And I don't just mean a minute ago, when I was walking in. I mean, like, in a dream, almost. That's a bit weird, Jay. Oh, ship! It's really gone. Hey, where did all the seashells go? It's gone. Nothing down there now but... Oh, 
What's that smell? Yep. Dad? Son? At least now we have a plan. Right, Dad? Well, half of one at least. If our ship's headed to Laruna on autopilot, and if we can fix Alex's ship and hitch a ride there with him, then all we have to figure out is... What to do when we get there. Right. What's cooking? Found some fermented biomatter here. Perfect enzymatic base for my patented hull patch formula. Only problem is, I can't add the bonding agent until I know I have the pH balanced perfectly, or the whole batch will be ruined. How's the hull patch coming? Great. Except I can't add the final oh, ingredient the same thing until again. I know I have the pH balanced correctly. Can't you just do a taste test or something? My taste buds aren't that sensitive. Also, I put poison in there. What? Well, it's usually to keep space parasites from chewing on the path. Force of habit, I guess. Yeah. How would you change the pH anyway? I've added all the calcium carbonate I could get my hands on, just to lower the acidity and raise the pH to be... somewhere in the ballpark. But I need to know it's exactly seven before I put in the final ingredient. How'd you get the calcium carbonate? By grinding up every seashell on the beach. But I fear it's still not enough. Where can I get more it. calcium carbonate? That's a great question. If I could find just one more shell, that would help. Good luck, Dad. Mm-hmm. Huh. That was weird. That briefly reappeared. Excuse me? Huh? Got a shell on him. Where did Mog Chaffer go? I assume back home, beyond the gates of the Plague Dam. Do you know anything about electronics? What's electronics? Some new data analysis service for elections? Do you know how to build a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam? I can build anything. As long as it's made out of sand. Oh, do you mean sand? Synthetic autonomous nanodrones? Because that would be great if you had some of those. No, I mean sand, as in the chief export of this fine community. Oh. I don't think sand is superconductive. If it can't be made with sand, it's not worth making at all. Should probably show him the blueprints and see what he thinks. I'll let you get some rest. Oh. Ah. <sighs> Well, since we're on. Do you know how to build a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam? I can build anything. As long as it's made out of sand. I don't think sand is going to stick together enough. Once upon a time, I would agree with you. But I recently met a mysterious young woman who gave me a secret ingredient. I think sand is the perfect material for making spaceship parts. But can you make something this complicated? Please, do you realize to whom you are speaking? And that's why they call me Marshall Dew. Thanks. Wow. Oh, no, thank you, son, for reminding me why I got into this business. I might look like a politician, but underneath it all, I'm just a guy who loves sand. Ooh, that's good. I'm going to pass that along to my speechwriter. Well, let's go see if this will do. I'm kind of surprised there weren't any other steps in getting that from there. There's probably more here. Here it is, your superconductive gyroscopic hypercam. Is that made of... Sand? Yeah, to take advantage of the superconductivity of sand. But sand isn't conductive. At all. Oh, it's just so easy to tear down the creative works of others, isn't it? Well, I just... Well, it's a prototype, okay? I'll bring the real one later. 
Yay. We do, however, have a prototype. We can find something to cut, make it out of later. Now this person I've not... I remember her. I've been ignoring her. Just... Hi, I'm Shay. I'm Carl. No, wait. You know what? Carol. My name is Carol. Nice to meet you, Carol. What are you doing? Taking a break from the husband, the kids, and that darn cloud we live on. Trying to enjoy a little fishing here, but having some setbacks. Fish aren't biting? No. Some nitwit stole every hook in town. Trying to twist this wire into a hook, but it's not working out. Did you say you had wire? I have a bunch, but I'm using it all up trying to make these dang hooks. You lived on a cloud? Yeah, but it's not as nice as it sounds. Trapped up in that fluffy, soft world, never able to leave or do anything real. I can relate, actually. It's nice she's finally able to get something done with her life. Did you see that big thing crash down out there on the beach? Mog Chathra? Yeah, good riddance. Don't have to worry about that pain in the neck showing up and eating our girls anymore, I guess. Did you say Mog Chathra ate girls? Are you sure he wasn't rescuing them? Rescuing? Huh? From what? Their loving families? <laughs> oh, God. Where did Mog Chothra go? Yeah, that was weird. Guess he wasn't dead after all. He just up and flew out of here. Probably headed back home with his tail between his legs. Where is Mog Chothra's home? They say he comes from over the Plague Dam. Must be some Mama Mog over there popping out fresh monsters every 14 years or so. Hey, do you know anything about electronics? Oh no. I only work with wire to reinforce the cloud shoes I make. A correction. Used to make. Well, good luck and good fishing, Carol. Or stay fishing beats the best day in a cloud cult. <laughs> well, seeing as we've gone through all these people here, actually, let's see if she'll take the crocheting tool. Need a hook? Sure do. Oh, uh, look, kid. That's a nice hook, but I'm not fishing for minnows, you know. What? This is a great hook. I'll... Sure, kid. Yeah, she won't take that one, I guess. That would be too easy. Well, I'm gonna stop it here for now, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Broken Age. Later, everyone.